All right, the title of this video is No One's Gonna Be Able to Save You Except Yourself. And pretty much what I'm trying to get at is you are responsible for your health. And if you have not been through the medical system like I have, don't have the grand illusion that they have some kind of magic pill or even advanced technology to help you with any of your problems or any of your troubles. Uh, when I had my issue with my kidney stones and I went into kidney failure, you know, I went to all these doctors, went to the hospital for a couple of days, and I started realizing that, you know, their ability and their knowledge, the medical system and doctors, is very, very limited. And in some cases, they're chemists. You know, doctors are chemists, and they're trying to find the right combination to uh, suppress the symptoms or to um, aid the dysfunction in your body, not to cure it, not to make it any better. Um, and even the smallest things, like just, you know, putting an IV up and getting, you know, getting kidney failure treated is extremely taxing on your emotions and the ability to uh, to cope. Um, can you imagine, and probably some of you watching this have had relatives or maybe you've had a heart attack um, or a bypass or got treated with cancer. I mean, you think about how barbaric treating cancer is. You're treating cancer by killing cells, the good and the bad. Um, we are in the infant stage when it comes to medical. And, you know, like I said, doctors are chemists. They're just trying to find a way to help you temporarily. You know, they've spent like eight hours in college to get their PhD. They only spend eight hours to, um, you know, on nutrition. And nutrition is going to be extremely helpful, but it's not going to always be the magic bullet, especially if you go too far and you've damaged your body too much. You know, there's a, there is a point of no return. And I've started realizing that, you know, when I was young, and I'm sure some of you guys are young or you have the experience. And I say young, I mean, I'm 44 now. And some people would be looking at me like, oh my God, I'd love to be 44 again. You are young. And I am to a lot of people. I'm old to a lot of people as well. But you know what I'm talking about. When you're a kid or in your, your 20s, it's almost like if you lost an arm, your body would regrow an arm. Of course not, but your body regenerates so quickly at that age, despite what you're eating, despite if you're eating junk food, despite everything. It's like you can go and fall down and feel like you broke your hip and the next day you feel completely good. And, and I've noticed, you know, since hitting 40, it's like, bam, it's like things that would take a day to heal when I was in my 20s take a week, a month, like even scars or, or you know, hurt, you know, if you hurt your knee or, uh, and it's kind of depressing, right? So basically back to going to the doctor, you start to realize that you think they might have all the answers and you go to them and they look at your CT scan or they look at whatever and they're almost as clueless as you are about what to do. You know, and they're looking at it from like a, a guessing standpoint some time. And it's frightening. And so my message to you out there, regardless of what your age, and I'm taking my own advice, by the way, don't treat your body poorly because if you expect, if you expect that your government or the medical industry is going to be there when you get sick, they're not. They can be there, but not in the way you think. Not in the way you think. And even if you have health insurance, 
the mounting bills that you acquire by being sick will bankrupt you. Completely take everything that you have. Okay? Or make you to where you're poor and you have to take Medicaid or Medicare or whatever. I mean, it, it literally, one little thing can bankrupt you. You know, I had kidney stones. I was in the hospital for two days. And I got a bill for $24,000. And um, I'm fighting it. You know, I had health insurance, but I was out of network. And so they're stubborn and they won't work with me. Um, but I was naive to think that the medical system in the U.S. or in the world for in general was a lot more advanced than it was. You're basically screwed if you, if, if you get down and unhealthy. You have to to take the precautions and you have to take care of yourself and you have to monitor yourself as you go in your 20s in your 30s you have to watch your diet in your 20s in your 30s because the older you get the harder it is to reverse things the harder it is to regenerate and and to to, um, to heal yourself and it will and eventually it can and will get to a point of no return you could damage your, if you have high blood pressure, you could damage your kidneys um, irreversibly. You know, once your your kidney kidneys are damaged, they're damaged. You know, very few very few things are repairable on your body. You know, excluding like the liver and and, and things. So, I just want to to emphasize that you need to take care of yourself. And the way our medical system is now. It's just going to go bankrupt. I mean, Obamacare was no help. You know, right now I have Obamacare. My premiums are $430 a month. I mean, that's a fortune. That's a house payment to some people. Um, how do I supposed to keep that up? I'm not going to be able to keep that up. And so, I just have to be completely bankrupt before I can be taken care of if something happens to me. So... I'm just saying, take care of yourself and treat your body well. I mean, there are different opinions on what you should eat and how to eat, but there's some universal truths to when it comes to diet that we all agree with. We all agree that junk food's bad for you. We all agree that sugar is bad for you. We all agree that soda is not good for you. We all agree, most of us agree, that exercise is a good thing. At least brisk walking every day. We all agree that being active is good for you. Okay. Yes, there's differences on whether we should be vegan or carnivore or um, taking this diet or that diet. But if you just do the common sense stuff that everybody knows that you should do, then you'll be halfway uh, done with, with what you need to be doing. Alright, thanks for watching.